made up of the bears from the security agencies and headed by the strongest woman on the planet to protect the country from the unseen and unknown threats of any kind lurking in the shadows. It is interesting to note that women led on both sides of good and evil in our story. Uh, we believe female Ghanaian actors are not given enough of such roles. This is partly because we have been made to believe that they cannot portray action characters and that drama's roles suit them better. What you will see in the agency movie will change that perception, starting from today. It will change that perception, thinking that women are just there for the drama and all girlish stuff. Women can do more, and we've decided to do it with the agency movie. In making this entertainment-focused film, we made sure to avoid painting the wrong image about, the, about any of Ghana's security agencies in the minds of viewers. This is why we created an independent agency to represent our bad guy. But instead, she bends and breaks the law. With regards to the agency, it's a beautiful movie. I play the chief of staff. Um, I can't wait to see the trailer. I can't wait to, you know, watch the entire movie. It's something very new. It's action-packed. It's intriguing. I mean, you saw the whole cast. It's like the whole Ghana movie industry being in this movie. Um, kudos to our legend here, uh, Mr. Oscar. Um, it's a privilege to be on the high table with you, sir. I've always admired you from afar, but I've never told you. So today, indulge me to tell you, I, I really look up to you, sir. And hopefully, some of us still can make it up to 40 years in the industry. It's not a joke. Over four decades. And he's still here. No, we really did. Uh, it's sweat and tears, literally. Um, I'll tell you a story. I actually cried on our last scene. We both cried, actually. I heard you cry too. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. It's just me. We both cried because we were exhausted. Um, very, very exhausted. There was a punch to my chest that was great. <laughs> That winded me, and that's what I'm saying. And you know, we have to, we, we got hurt. Unless they are the good bad guys who take on the bad, bad guys. I'm like a time bomb, so unpredictable. Today I'm cold, tomorrow I'm extremely hot. And that is how an actress should be. I should be multitasking, I should be versatile, and that is who I am. So it's not new, it's my job and I must be able to play whatever character they give you, whether cold or hot. I have to be able to. And I, I thank God I'm able to do that. Take on the bad, bad guys. Yeah. I wasn't part of the plan. No. Took them long to understand. No. When it's God, it's a jam. But all of my killers were new. I was intrigued and excited about it because of the storyline one and also the person directing it, Abu Idi. I know, I have worked with him um, for so long and I know his passion towards filmmaking and how he wants to make a difference um, in, in our film industry. So when I received the script, I was really intrigued and excited to be on board and I'm not surprised to see the outcome. Lisa was calm, even though she was part of the group that go all out with the action and the shooting and whatever. I was more of a nerd that I was always sitting behind the computer. So I was a hacker. So it was a bit more relaxed compared to me being in Terminus. Terminus was more action for me. And being with the president all through and all that was, yeah. Hello boys. An all boys party is a cardinal sin. <laughs> Personally, I think um, it's been experimental for the director and actors as well. Uh, we went through different channels, which are different from other productions that we've done, uh, talking about action films. Uh, even just the training session, to begin with, we had to go through two months of training session. Three months. Three months of just training stunts and how to kick and how to you know, punch. You know, and these stuff don't happen. You know? So from the onset, we knew this was different. It was going to be epic, it was going to be tiring, 
and basically that's what we experienced on set. Jumping on this project, I was coming with um, a bit of knowledge and experience when it comes to action. Uh, the good news here is um, I learned a lot, especially, that was my, it's my first time working with a uh, lord, okay, so uh, with a training like three months, I actually went through the three months without missing a day uh, because uh, it's not just for the film, it's for myself as well to learn and then carry on uh, the knowledge from this set to the other. Um, and then um, it's about the discipline. Certain project comes with its own um, challenges and everything. And this agency is one of uh, those kind of films that requires a lot, both physically and mentally. And then, um, yeah, <clears throat> it is what it is. You saw the, 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 the teaser. We are fucked. And so because it's an action movie, we got the, you know, um, an expert from the security services to help us even in the slight nuances of how to hold a gun properly, how to run, you know, and, and all the action bits um, and the stunts. And some of the cast and the crew had even trained for about three, four months before we started shooting and were going through the drill. So by the time we started shooting, they were not novices. They didn't look like they were out of place, you know, with the equipment. And equipment was even, some of the guns, I mean, most of the uh, guns and the equipment were brought in from outside. And they looked so authentic, so real. And I remember we went for um, a meeting, a production meeting, and they brought all these guns in. And I looked at them and I said, hey, I said, Charlie, I think it was around the time they were talking about this um, Volta region, you know. And say, say, and I said, my brother, have you told the people that all these weapons are here? Because by the time you realize, they'll swoop down on us, and by the time we were, we're, we're news. If you look around the world, filmmaking has taken a different dimension. Franchises are the way to go. Where you make, you do a story, it continues, and then every year you're able to continue the story. We would want, I want to believe Africa is ready for that one too. You know, so we, we want to be the first to start it, and hopefully we hope Ghanaians will support and then to go far. Like Abu Idris uh, mentioned earlier, when it comes to the film space, a lot of the times it's going to be multiple institutions collaborating to get, like, to achieve a maximum, like, to maximize the potential of each company. I mean, I didn't have the directing capacity, but Abu Idris has experience in the field. Uh, we had the logistics, we had the story, so we needed a captain for the ship. And looking at what we have, you know, that collaborative choice really paid off. We actually have some sort of uh, future, we have future collaboration lined up and we have our own personal uh, projects that we all have in the pipeline. But there's definitely going to be more Vascan and Senegal collaborations, especially in terms of the sequel for the agency and other possi possible TV uh, series we're also working on. Made up of the best from the security agencies and headed by the strongest woman on the planet to protect the country from the unseen and unknown threats of any kind lurking in the shadows. But instead, she bends and breaks the law and no one dares take her on. Unless they are the good bad guys who take on the bad, bad guys. Yeah. I wasn't part of the plan no. Took them long to understand no. When it's God, it's a jam yeah. But all of my killers were new And they all Hello boys An all boys party is a cardinal sin We know one thing We are fucked
This ends with me getting everything I want. Absolutely no one dares take on the agency. We are not no one.